How you guys doing? This is Martin. I'm starting a new series. It's called Failing to Get Ahead. It's failing to get ahead. When you see the words, you'll think, oh man, that's pretty cute, Martin. What are you trying to think? Well, I'm 52 years old. I've like 16 years worth of retirements. I've been homeless. I've lived in Japan, foreign countries. And I think I have some stuff to help you because right now we are in a COVID environment. This is a new COVID world where one thing you're gonna have to learn how to do more than ever is to fail and start over. And I was just thinking, you know, I remember one time, have you ever, what would you do if you lost all your teeth? Have you thought about what would happen if you lost all your teeth? Well, that almost happened to me. I had my counselor say, Martin, I had like one tooth in the front that overlapped the other. I had one tooth that was chipped. And my counselor said, Martin, you know, you should do something with your teeth. Because if you don't have a if you don't look have a good appearance and people look at you, they may not they you may not get as many opportunities. And I thought, what? This is my counselor? I haven't I hadn't been to, I had only I, I didn't go to a dentist until I was in my sophomore year of high school. And Miss Mills, she was the counselor and she said, Martin, you need to go check on your teeth. Your teeth look bad. So I was like, oh, then after I got over it, okay, I figured out how am I going to find out how to get, I, I, I didn't know what to do. I mean, are our parents supposed to help us with these things? So what I ended up doing, I ended up looking through the phone book, just dentist, dentist, dentist. And then I found the different dentists that I wanted to go to. After I found the ones I wanted to go to, I had to hog as my grandfather. So I used to say, hog, come on, take me to the dentist. Miss Mills, my counselor, says I should go to the dentist because it'll help me with my teeth. And after, I think I bugged him for about a month. My mom took me one time. And she had to work, so she wasn't able to take me. And then Hulk and I ended up going. So we ended up going to these different dentists. We went to the one dentist. He said, man, there's something wrong with your teeth. The, your gum is exceptionally low. And then it found out that I had a rare gum disease. So he said, and then I, they recommended me to, her name was Chasey Golden. She was a dentist in Hartford. We lived at 385 East 116 place in Los Angeles. And I'll tell you about the rest of the story later. So that's one way I failed to get ahead. I had that, Miss Mills, my counselor, talked to, encouraged me, criticized me, said, Martin, Teeth fucked up, man. Why don't you get those teeth fixed? So I did that. So I'll tell you how that adventure turns out. And then back in 1995, I got laid off from my first job. And people were saying, man, you'll never get laid off from this government job. We haven't had layoffs in 15 or 20 years, man. And what has happened? Two years later, got laid off. I was like, what? But and have you ever heard of the term short timer? That's what they hold it, man. When you're gonna get fired, because this happened to me twice, when you're gonna get fired, that word short timer, man, they use it. Uh, and I remember on top of being a short timer, I was a civil engineer. And as an engineer, you have to have these, uh, you have to have these, like, have these, re get some recommendations so you can take the civil engineering test. So I remember, not only was I gonna get laid off in three months, I think I found out, they didn't let us know till about three months before, I was gonna get laid off. And then on top of it, I had to get all these um, information to send to the engineering board so I could take my engineering exam. So I'll tell you how that turned out. And then after that, would you take five? I remember after that, then I remember I woke up one day in my room. I used to live in San Francisco, California. I was having these bad headaches and I couldn't figure out why am I having a headache? Why am I having a headache? And then that happened three or four times. And then one day I woke up 
my eye, right eye was coming out the socket, man. It was sort of the movie Saw. I was all budged out. If you ever think of that movie, Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So the eye was coming out of the socket and I didn't know what to do. So I ended up calling a taxi. Taxi took me to the hospital. They put me in this isolated room. They thought I had a rare disease. So I'll tell you how that one turns out. So that happened to me. You're saying, what does this have to do with failing to get ahead? Well, in order to get ahead, I learned sometimes you gotta fail. So that's what I, and I'll tell you some of those lessons. And then, hey, I remember I got into a fight when I was in high school with this guy named Ernest. And what happened was, the eye, I accidentally got the retina, accidentally got disconnected. And the doctor said, well, if this retina thing doesn't get fixed, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do eye surgery and you'll have a big patch in front of your eye. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? So that was another adventure I'll tell you about. One thing I will tell you to do, if you get into a fight, man, don't let down your guard. I, if I was, if I, my grandmother didn't send me to church, man, I would have kept my hands up and kept fighting. But I was trying to be a Christian because I went to all guy high school. Don't do that again, man. So that's another one. So what's another good fella and a good ahead story? So one story we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the dentist fell in the head. What happens when you don't go to the dentist until your sophomore year? Now another fell in the head. What happens when you're about to get laid off and you need to get certificates for, you need to get a certificate, some risk recommendations to help you in order to qualify for an engineering test? Well, how about number three? What about if you go to the hospital after your eye is bulging out and the doctor says, you, you have a rare disease, somehow you've attracted this rare allergy, this allergy condition, and if we don't do surgery within the next 48 hours, not only are you going to lose your eye, but you're also going to die. How would you handle that? And then number four, failing to get ahead, we'll talk about how, what happens when you get into a fight with Ernest after you call out his mom, and then you find out, the doctor said, if this, uh, this retina thing doesn't heal itself on its own, you're gonna have to have to have surgery. So those are four fell in the head. What I want you to learn about fell in the head is, you're not really fell in, you are actually fell in the head. You're fell in the head because you're learning. Hey, the only way for success is to fail. And that's what I, that's what we're gonna be working on. So today, right now, I'm in Palm Springs working out. You know, I have to go with all, the, it's a little bit quieter today, so it's not as bad. Okay, until the gym's open, and I got old people, fat people, skinny people, all squashed together. So, you're always looking for some place with some space, man. So, that's why I usually come here. My other park is kind of empty during the week, but then on the weekend it gets sort of crowded, so that's why I always come here, work out, change up my workout a little, is what I like to do. Because you know, that's why I say the great thing about the COVID fell in the head series, this is going to help you in this COVID environment to realize, hey, if things don't go your way, you could be in good shape. Oh yeah, here's another good fell in the head story. I'll tell you about how I, my roommate, Jocelyn and I, she's my girlfriend, we live with our friend Margarita, and Margarita almost burned down the kitchen. I'll tell you how that fell in the head one ended. That was another fun experience. So basically, fell in the head series is teaching you failure after failure remains your only one step to success. That's why I want you, you should be subscribing to my channel. Things are going to get a whole lot worse 
before they get a lot better, if you know what I mean. Look at it, Disneyland's not gonna open up, open up till next year. And I'll tell you about how. Once I got laid off in 96, 1995, it took me about a year to get a job. I'll tell you about my adventures living next to an escort. Her name was Denise. And she went on to become a lawyer. Go figure. I'll tell you about how. What did she do? What did she help me do? What did we do when she wanted me to take her to the clubs? And how she helped keep me going so I didn't quit. So, subscribe, comment, like. Subscribe, comment, like. Fell in the head. The reason I'm telling you this. 52, 16 years worth of retirement. This guy got here with his dog. This is so sad. Grown men playing with dogs. What's next, man? But talking about how I look back on talking about some of my other failures. We'll talk to you about my adventures about trying to be a property manager for duplexes and for houses. You laugh, you say, Yeah, I probably wouldn't have paid you either, Martin. But fell in the head. Remember, each failure, you have one step closer to success. Also, well, you, well, we, the reason we want to get you guys encouraged is because we want to teach you guys the power of gambling. Do you know, back in my, do you know gambling is legal? In the 80s and 90s, gambling was considered racketeering, where you didn't pay your taxes. And then they didn't want to, you were like a criminal. But now, <laughs> gambling is legal. And we'll talk about that. So we got a $200 blackjack retirement program I want you guys to sign up for. Also, we have a 50, we have a 75, 125, $200 program to help you pay out for the car. But today, do what you can to fill ahead. Remember, I've went through the 95 recession, 2001 recession, 2008 recession, so 2020, this is easy, man. Government, need, back in those recessions, the government didn't get no money. Government got all kinds of, all kind of money out there, man. I'm going to show you how to get it.